What's up guys, Chance here. Welcome back to Builder Simulator where we build shit. We're gonna get tutorial 4, which is loading bearing walls. We did concrete screening for the foundation. Now we're gonna right, see what about the walls. Let's do it. Back, like bearing walls. Let's see how we do. Builder. After a while, crocodile! It's time for the load bearing walls! Quickly! To the Batmobile training room. I'll take to you the through it on the way. There are certain types of walls. In our game, there are three types of walls: load-bearing walls, plasterboard, and concrete partition walls. Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. You'll see the effects immediately. Okay. You need to get Hollow blocks from the shop. Buy 100 hollow blocks. Buy 100 of them now. Alright. Bearing walls, hollow blocks. If you're happy and you know it, the fantastic! Good. Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. Use a chat. You don't have to go back and forth. Okay. We're taking notes from the last demo, huh? What? In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Put mortar on it. Lay it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great! Now place the hollow block on it. Level up! Good. I never thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Give it a try. Double hollow block placement. So what that means is that you are do that and that. That's two blocks, and then we we'll go leveled there. Up again. Trowel. Where the hell is he? Oh. Let's see what happens now. And that's where we do one, two, three, and then. Amazing! Bam. It reminds me of the Egyptian buildings I have in my data. Let's put up the scaffolding. Scaffolding. The scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. And not only that, when you get close to the ladder, you can fold and unfold it. Good work! You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer! Tough layer is the lintel layer. Ever heard of it? Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. Lintel. Right. All right, what? It's time to place it in the hologram. Oh, Jesus. Let me climb. Right. Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Oh my god, I hate ceiling blocks. Okay. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. Buy ceiling blocks, which is this one. That's two times. One, two. Some would say the sky's the limit! But for us, Not funny. it's ceiling blocks on each level! <laughs> Enough dad jokes. Put the ceiling blocks in the hologram! Uh... Ceiling blocks. Oop. Ordinary. 
after your work, Can you I jump? dismantle your scaffolding with drill. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Right. Yes, we do have photo mode. Okay, so dismantle it? How? Next step will be doors and windows. See you later. Yeah. Speaking of working, so check out that sweet piece. So it's that's little bare walls where we can do walls and stuff. Next up will be doors and windows, and we'll see that in the next video. Guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, you can thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more gorgeous videos. Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you next time with doors and windows.